Thanks, bro. Here's part three. Save go past the movie. Whereas the I've actually seen the first season of the anime. I've not seen the second season. Um, I've actually almost bought this except for the fact that it was the price of alone of season one and season two together. Which was about, oh, I don't know, 43 something at uh, Best Buy. So, but I don't want to bore you guys with that. Let's get in. This one, as I was saying before in part two, which I was talking about the K series, this movie is actually done very well. And I'd like to thank the guys over at Funimation for doing that. This is actually fluid. It fits in with the timeline between episodes season one and season two. And if you were to buy this and not even know it was part of a series, obviously if you were to say remove the title of the, the movie, you can actually watch this as its own standalone format. And it actually came with some cool stuff in it. The Blu-ray version did. I don't know if the DVD did it. So I got the combo pack. But it came with these cool little things. Little illustration, art illustrations. Showing the various characters. And in a way, Psychopaths could fit in with the Ghost in the Shell universe because with the advancement of their little Sybil system and it taking over the world and measuring people's psyche and some of the military politics that go through with this show almost follow similar along with Ghost in the Shell. But, on a good note, I actually rate this one higher than I do the K series. Only in terms of um, visual direction and how the story arc actually works together in this movie. So, if you guys see this one anywhere, Walmart, Best Buy, anywhere, or even at your local game exchange. I don't think GameStop sells DVDs, but if you have a game exchange or anywhere in the world, get it. 